Hi, it's me Elsa again, and I'm here today in reference to uh, adding more of my life story. Uh, basically, I remember when I was at least 28 years old, uh, my dad got real sick. I was looking for him for about a couple of months. I didn't know where he, where he was at. Uh, he got so sick that he couldn't remember uh, anything, so he didn't know how to contact me, and I basically didn't know how to contact him. So what I did was I tried calling the hospitals, I tried calling nursing homes, I tried calling everywhere. And eventually I found my father. Uh, he got real sick. He basically fell someplace. And when he fell, he lost memory. He didn't under he didn't know remember where he was at. He when I found him, he was in a nursing home in uh, Miami, Florida. And they were basically trying to help him recover his mental state of mind and uh, help him get better because he also had a training ulcer on his bottom feet. Uh, basically, I took my dad at the nursing home. You know, it was very hard uh, for me to hold my dad on my back. Uh, he lost his Section 8. And um, when he lost his Section 8, because the reason why he lost his Section 8, because when it was time to renew his voucher, he was nowhere to be found. So what I did was I took my dad out the nursing home and, um, you know, it was kind of hard at first. Uh, I tried to make an appeal for him to get his housing back uh, in front of the commissioner's office uh, of City of Miami uh, near Brooklyn. I spoke to the commissioner and was able to get his housing back. But it was very hard because my dad had to go to back to the nursing home three times in a row. Um, the first time he went, uh, I mean, the first time I had him, uh, he told me an incident where he was walking in the Liberty City area and he fell down and no one decided to help him. And it made me feel bad, but in this area, it's a lot of seniors that use a lot of drugs and stuff like that. So maybe they misinterpreted my dad and, you know, uh, him just being an older guy, or maybe they just didn't care. But it was very hard. Um, it was also an incident where um, my, uh, it's like a sister of mine, she's not my biological sister was trying to get involved and I didn't want her involved because I knew she was pretty uh, uh, manipulative. So, you know, it was a lot of arguing and fighting, you know, basically arguing when it came to that and I was pretty upset with my dad. But at the same time, he was uh, understanding, you know, the situation of my concerns, which was, you know, I, I, me not trusting her at all. Um, so yeah, uh, basically, you know, when he finally got his housing back, we, uh, moved together, me, my baby father, uh, my two children at the time, uh, and... There was an incident where uh, it took place in uh, uh, in the uh, in the Carter's apartment. Um, it's called the Colors, and um, my soon-to-be ex-husband uh, sister wound up getting an altercation where it made the news, and she was in she went to jail for eight months. And I was there for her children for eight months. Um, I fed them, I clothed them, I sent them to school and everything. And um, it was a lot. I also took in all of his brothers as well, my baby, well, my, my soon-to-be ex-husband's brothers. And I did the same for them as well. Uh, it became a lot on me and my dad, um, but we, we, we helped as we could and as we you know the best that we could um it was a rumor by uh 
his sister when she got out of jail she was very unappreciative that uh, my dad tried to touch her daughter which was not true it was just a rumor and when I asked her daughter and we all asked her daughter her daughter said it wasn't true so it was just this little nasty rumor she was putting together uh, it bothered my dad for a long time it's like why would they say that you say else it wasn't just me that helped them it was you and it was as if you got a stab in the back for helping people and I don't think that's fair because you didn't have to do that and you know I was telling my dad don't worry about it don't stress yourself you know stay positive and you know it, it, it made him very overwhelmed and within that time frame uh, my, I basically uh, had a nervous breakdown and had to go to the hospital uh, it was times where the kid's father would Baker act me just to cheat um, and you know took advantage of me and my dad I remember also one time where I walked inside of the house and it, me and me and the kid's father was in an argue, argument and he came outside and he went to putting his hands on me uh, of course and I went in the house and he was fighting me in front of my dad and holding me down and my dad being a senior he couldn't protect himself in any, or me in any kind of way so it upset him and he blacked my eye and I had a black eye I still have the scar to this day I try to put cocoa butter on it stuff like that to help it go away and it still here a little you can kind of see it it's right here right here but yeah um I'll be back